I was born in Taipei, Taiwan, um, where, our, where I got um, my early music education. I moved to Michigan to attend um, Interlochen Arts Academy. Um, that is a boarding high school. Then I received my education from Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore and Stony Brook University. I studied with Enshine and Gilbert Kalish. I stayed in New York after my education and did a lot of teaching there, including teaching at the Manhattan School of Music, pre-college, and City University of New York. Until 2012, when I moved to Kuwait, where I taught um, at American University of Kuwait. I was there for three years, um, and I moved here. So quite a bit of uh, around the world journey, but here I am. I like to um, understand my student and um, really understand their personal needs and their personal passions um, and tailor their lessons to um, what really speaks for them. Ultimately, I think it's really to teach them how to learn. Um, I very seldomly tell the students exactly what to do, when to do it, but I explain why we do certain things at certain times and hopefully they can um, apply what they learn even after their lessons. Um, normally we have about I would say um, 18 to 23 students um, and the ratio of undergrad and graduate um, is about half and half. Um, each year may be a little different but I would say half and half. The keyboard department, um, we have great art, um, guest artists. Um, from all over the world. Um, we've had Mary Pariah giving master class, um, Gilbert Kalish, Enshine, Antoinelle, uh, Victor Rosenbaum, um, to name a few. Um, so the students have the opportunity to perform weekly in um, the performance classes and as well as for um, the guest artists um, master classes. As an undergrad um, entering Lamont, um, we give the undergraduate students opportunity to um, participate in ensembles um, and, and have collaborative opportunities, um, not just at the piano. Um, they are encouraged to join the choir um, and other jazz ensemble if they wish. Um, if they play any other instrument, they are also welcome to participate in, in those fields. Although we would also eventually require students to participate in ensembles at the piano, um, which means they could be playing as a keyboardist in the Le Mans Symphony Orchestra. Um, perhaps in wind ensemble, um, as well as in the modern music ensemble. In a smaller scale, um, a pianist can participate in um, accompanying and in duets, in four hands and two pianos, duos, and jazz in prog, and in smaller chamber groups, such as piano trio, piano quartet, um, quintet, and with woodwinds as well. A typical lesson with me, I, I think I've just picked up a lot of the teaching from the teachers that I study with. Um, I very much enjoy taking apart the uh, 
and do a lot of analysis and going into much details. Um, and I, I know that some of my students probably feel the same way I used to feel when I was a student. Is I come in with a whole piece thinking I'm ready, I'm playing through, and, um, and I would let my student play the piece through, and then I start talking, and next thing you know, we've only covered the first two pages. Perhaps, you know, um, at the very beginning. But going back to my philosophy is, if we can really deal into um, dissect the first two pages and and really understand, then the student can take that away and apply what he or she learns during the, um, in the first two pages and to and work toward the rest of the piece. And I think this way, the re, um, the work. The final work will really be the student's work and it's not what I tell them what they should do in every spot. La Mangue is a, a performance oriented um, music school with conservatory um, vigor but it's also within a beautiful university and so I think the students really get an opportunity to pursue their love for music at the same time interact with students from all backgrounds and so I think it's small enough that the students can get a personalized education in music um, and it's intense enough because it's in the same small building. Um, but at the same time, it's also big enough. When they leave that one building, they really get to um, participate with um, diverse um, student bodies. So I think given that, it's a perfect place for students to find their own voices um, and during this critical time of their life. Um, and I think it is what we do outside of Lamont that really puts a stamp on your personality. So I think when, when you come back to Lamont and back to the practice room, um, each time, hopefully, you are putting in your personality into your uh, music making. Um, and Denver is a wonderful and beautiful place with just perfect um, weather. So, you know, those moments that you are high up, um, 10,000 feet above, and you sit there alone. It's a moment of enlightenment.